<laughs> so the first one is um, for the people, uh, stay home or don't stay home. What's your advice? Man, I mean, it depends. I mean, if you gotta go out, go out. But don't stay out. Don't mix and mingle. Don't solicit, don't loiter. Just get what you gotta get and go home, okay? And I'm, I'm talking to you people out there. Listen, this is a message directly from Elder David. Just stay home if you don't gotta be anywhere. You're just adding to the mixture of germs going out there, spreading. Think about your grandma, if she's still around. Would you want her to get sick from some idiot? just because they wanted to be out of the house. Just find a room like this and hide, okay? Just hide from your wife, from your kid. Just hide in the bathroom. Say you got a stomachache. Don't go out. So yeah. <laughs> Very good. Um, what do you think about, um, a, a, for some reason, Adele's weight loss has been all over the news. Skinny Adele versus fat Adele. What's your take on that? Like, like cage match or just <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, what, what that'll be, you know, that'll be, if they ever brought back Celebrity Deathmatch, that would be a funny episode. Fat Adele versus Skinny Adele. Like, they go back to the future and bring her in a time machine, and then they, I don't know. Um, That's great. Uh, but no, I think I think she was super successful even before, so I think she's going to be just fine afterwards. And, I mean, not for nothing, she was beautiful before. Not that, that weight defines beauty, but now she's, like, gorgeous. You know? Yeah, man. Um I mean, I take her either way. I think that's why a lot of these, the feminists are so upset is because she is like, she she raised the bar. Like she went from, a, let's say she was a seven, she went to a 10. <laughs> like they, they feel like like uh, like she dissed them, like she, she betrayed them. Yeah. You, you were one of us <laughs> and you left us. So what do you think about sports now? Uh, <sighs> the, the, you know, with, and uh, if they come back, they're talking about no crowds, no audience. Uh, what do you think about the new era of 2020? I don't care about crowds anyway, because I don't like people. But <laughs> I, I, I just miss the games, man. I miss watching the games. I mean, um, not for nothing. Going to a game is an, an experience in itself. It's a blast. I'm not knocking that. But it doesn't. the cost isn't always effective. The travel, getting there, getting out, parking, all the other BS that goes along with it. I'd rather sit at home. And we all have giant TVs anyway. It's like EA Sports. It's like you're in the game. So it's like uh, I miss watching sports the most. Football, baseball, basketball, hockey. Um, do I care that no one's there? No. UFC actually had an event this weekend, which I love. And uh, people praised it that there were no one there. Actually, one of the fighters was doing bad in the fight, and he heard the commentator, because there was nobody there. He heard them telling what he was doing wrong, and he adjusted and won the fight. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got to yeah. check that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dude, J Joe Rogan's interviewing him after the fight, and he's like, yeah, I heard I heard D uh, Daniel Cormier telling me I needed to check it, learn how to check it, so I learned how to check it. And I was like, oh, my God. That's, it makes <laughs> it better. It makes it even better. Yeah, so this could be, it could be a, 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 some positives to this. And, but movie theaters, I mean, you heard about this? The movie theaters are, aren't going to be around no more, pretty much. AMC is not playing any Universal movies because they're mad because Trolls World Tour did really well on VOD. Like, uh, So now a lot of movies are thinking, we don't need them to go to the theater. We'll just rent it to them for 20 bucks a pop. Boom. The theaters are like, damn, you cut us out. We were the middlemen. We were the drug dealers. Yeah, took uh, with the middlemen. Imagine world's... imagine if drugs start to go on Amazon, man. That's what's happening. That's like what the movies are going on. You can get delivered on your app, weed app, and then you just get it right to your house. The drug dealers are going to go out of business. The world is set, it up, is set up now for us to stay quarantined forever. <laughs> we it, a... Oh, it literally is. You don't need to go anywhere for anything. Yeah, man. Everything comes right to you. you Uber Eats, uh, you know. Grocery stores will deliver. We can get delivered. Literally uh, every movies. yeah. What is it? Uber and then when you want weed, you call Duber. What is that? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody said that. Uh, you should you should uh, when you copyright that immediately <laughs> and make it happen. <laughs> Be like, how did Elgin become a millionaire? He's the guy who made Duber, man. Duber, man. Duber Eats. They said you bring you the, the weed and the munchies, man. Yeah, there you go, dude. You're on to it. Uh, so that is our Hot Topic segment. Hot Topic?